Your news in brief for Tuesday the 26th of June. A South London healthcare trust may be forced to close three of its hospitals due to £69 million of debt. Patients are being contacted and split into two groups. If they naturally lean to the left, they'll be told that their treatments have been delayed or cancelled due to a short-sighted health minister, Andrew Lansley, and the public sector cuts. If they naturally lean to the right, they'll be told that their treatments have been cancelled or delayed due to doctors striking and PFI loans under a Labour government. Speaking of borrowing money, the government borrowing figures are out today showing that there's been a massive rise to £18 billion a year due to a shortfall in tax revenue. Any sign of that plan B, Mr Osborne? Maybe a plan A part two? Plan A, A? Do something, but ugly, do something! Andy, and at Wimbledon, Andy Murray, be, oh, I can't be bothered, what's the point? The Queen is in Northern Ireland today on her 40th visit. This ahead of her historic meeting with Sinn Féin representative tomorrow, Martin McGuinness. But first, she's in Inner Skillen today to see the local influence on the architecture that Sinn Féin have had over the last four decades. Martin McGuinness said he's taking a risk for peace. I guess the risk would be he's hoping the Queen won't bring up her dead uncle. And on a day where the Olympic torch makes its way from Sheffield to the inspirational Cleethorpes, this has been your News in Brief for Tuesday the 26th of June. Do something but ugly, do something!